previously on Van Stab High presented by Monster Energy. Mateus Hurdy puts in a monster round one performance. That's a big air. That's huge. Matt Miola and Chippa Wilson spin heads in a straight air round. It's like against my religion to try to force a straight air when I can potentially do a crazy move. And Noah Dean and Rasta Rob lock horns to line up a one-on-one -on -one showdown. Well, the problem is, is we're just judging two super weak airs. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Van Stab High presented by Monster Energy at Lakey Peak, Indonesia. The previous episode saw our Ladybirds and former men's event winners enter the draw in round one for a straight air shootout. Seven men and six Ladybirds progressed throughout straight airs round and into round two, leaving one empty slot on the men's heat draw to be filled by the winner of a man-on-man -man surf off between Noah Dean and Robbie Rasta Rob McCormick. With Lakey's main peak locked down for competition, surfers have been heading to surrounding breaks to get their fill both above and below the lip. Located a mile and a half north of the main peak, Periscopes has been the first choice location for those competitors who have been eliminated. I love Periscopes and I really wanted to surf it. I figured there probably wouldn't be so many people there early. I was telling myself the whole time, like 10 o'clock, that's my cutoff. 11 o'clock, that's my cutoff. Midnight, that's my cutoff. 1 a.m., okay, I really need to get out of here. They're like, all right, let's rinse the hangover off. decently sized and then like all of a sudden within like five minutes it was like three feet bigger every set was just like a foot bigger we were all just like sitting there like a little further in than the guys and just like a bomb set comes and we like all took it on the head together took like a 10 footer on the head almost died i literally got like two feet down and my board just went Whoa, ripped out of my hands. My leash got ripped off my ankle. Got smokes. Um, me and Rob had to bail together, but he broke his leash. There's a little girl right next to me. I'm like, are you okay? I'm like literally about to die. She's just sitting there like. You know, it was cool like just to expand my comfort level and know that it's okay. I won't die if I bail. I'm from Florida though. It was the gnarliest wave I've ever ducked out in my life. <laughs>
Round 2 of Van Stab High, presented by Monster Energy, is all about rotations. Surfers in this round can spin clockwise or counterclockwise, but only a successfully completed aerial rotation will earn our surfers a score from the panel of five judges. I feel more comfortable with the rotation round, I guess. As a competitor, you're more used to do air reverses for rotations and stuff. I feel like there's so many good surfers here that will be doing crazy full rotes. So that those guys can have it for sure. I'm just going to try a front shove or um, alley-oop maybe. Try just do a big air. I can't put money on anyone. They're all gnarly. Like everyone's super gnarly. I guess some of the boys will be doing big spins and crazy stuff like that. I don't know. I just want to go like high. I'm not really like a technical guy. I don't really have any crazy shove it, but I want to try to make them like look higher than everyone else. Just something fucking huge and quick. Round two of the Lady Bird sees six girls competing in two one hour long three person heats. One winner will be selected immediately after each heat based on their single best rotation. The remaining surfers will each have their single best rotation reviewed and ranked by the judges, with the top two joining the heat winners in a four person Lady Birds final. Heat one features Sierra Kerr, Eden Walla, and Quincy Simons, each looking to spin their way into the final. I feel like it's gonna be a little harder, but I feel like the waves, there's more opportunity for rotations today. But it's gonna be tricky, just make sure you don't get your fins caught spinning, and you should be good. This is rotations. We have Quincy, Sierra, and Eden. The wind's pretty strong. It's low tide, and we're gonna be looking for some action. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, right there. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah. Eden. Right here. Do it. Hit it. Ah. I just surfed out there and, you know, it wasn't as easy as it looks from the judging tower, I gotta say. Right. The way the conditions were wasn't the most uh, helpful. You'd either really want to do straight airs in those conditions or spin as fast as you could and hopefully land back facing the beach without going in reverse. I haven't landed a full rotation yet, so I was just trying to land some form of rotation. Big section. Ooh. Oh, come on, so girl. So close. Now she got the nice rotation, but she just coming out. Here we go. First night out forever. Four. Ooh. Nice. Six. That was too easy for her. She wants another. Another one. I made an air rev on one of my first waves. I was kind of on the wrong part of the peak now that I'm thinking about it. Should have been a bit deeper and going across and hitting the section more. So hopefully next time I'll hit that section a bit better, I guess. I'll Not throw two, a seven. I guess. I mean, seven, I'll... yeah. Yeah, these girls are definitely pushing women, women surfing to a whole new level right oh. now. Yeah, look at that wind. I wonder what like Steph Gilmore thinks when she watches this. There we go. He didn't. Quincy was really, really close to getting like so many, just kept sticking and then falling. Oh. Oh. Eden was like close to a couple, but not quite getting the pop. I don't think she's ever made one before, so trying to make one in an hour is about as hard as it gets. Yeah, I remember getting that one at the very end and I hadn't landed an air yet in that heat, so I just wanted to land something and I was a bit hesitant to go for the reverse and if I fell off and I didn't land anything. So I tried to spin as much as I could and feel comfortable, but I agree with the judges who called it not a rotation. I was a bit like, oh, it, it really wasn't, but I was hoping that they might give it, but now I agree with the way they made the decision. With Sierra advancing into the final, Katie Simmers, Bella Kenworthy, and Izzy Campbell are up next to try and secure a spot with Sierra. Yeah, that heat, I was a lot less stressed because I was just like, oh, I'll just try my best because I've also never done 
And I reversed on an open face section, so I was just like, I'll just try. Woo! How good is mind surfing? <laughs> I'm way better at mind surfing. <laughs> I think everybody is. <laughs> I never bond. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Go. This one's got some. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Oh, she's stalling. Hit it. Wow. Whoa. Oh, here we go. Bella. Bella. Get up. Oh. All right, on the right. Hot. Oh, that was kind of oh. cool. With this format, a lot of pressure is being put on us and a lot of expectation to be able to do this certain thing in these certain conditions at that one time that you want us out there. It's a lot to deal with, especially when you're trying to do something that's just like so... You've kind of do, got to do everything right for it to work. Easy. Land some rail. Come on. Oh, yeah. Go up. Oh. 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 Despite the wind still blowing into the right, Katie and Bella test the rotations on the left. Oh. All day, I think most of us were going right just because of, like, the winds. But, like, the wind died down a little bit, and I, like, I had a way better chance of pulling a backside air reverse. So I was just like, oh, I'll just try the lefts. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And luckily I got a little section. Two? Yeah, two. It's impressive that she did it downwind. It wasn't like a launched air, but she got above the lip. Even the, just the way that she loaded it up was like stalling through the steep part of the wave. But it still had that control. What do you think is the strategy of going left out here? That's exactly what I was trying to think. How she's doing it because this, the, the section is definitely going right. And it's the wind, but she just chose to go left. She's been trying, trying, finally she got that one. That's pretty sick, you know? Oh, look at this monster coming. Uh-oh. Whoa. The monster is coming, guys. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the rotation round, it was, well, I actually, I knew it was going to be tough because I'm not that good at rotations on my forehand. I mean, it wasn't gnarly, but it was gnarly for me doing airs. And then, so I was like, yeah, I'll just go try. I had a couple attempts. Oh, oh my God. She's lost. That was a good section. That was a good one. I. Her feet just came off. Yeah, need to grab. Here we go. Last leg. Oh. oh. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't make anything. It was just sad. With Sierra and Bella securing a berth in the final, two spots are left wide open, and the judges discuss how they'll select the remaining finalists. So we just finished round two of the Ladybirds and only two of them landed rotations. That was Sierra Kerr and Bella Kenworthy. There's still two spots left in the final that are open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow the rest of the Ladybirds that were in round two until the final to get their best rotation on camera in a free surf and submit them. This is a nice way for somebody to re-qualify is to give them the chance to go do something with just themselves or a couple of the people in a filmer and really be able to perform at their highest level instead of under the guillotine of just like stab high and oh, you gotta do this and that. And so, you know, the girls who performed under pressure and who are used to it kind of prevailed and then we'll see what the other girls can bring to the table on a video submission. Lakey Peak has been blessed with abundant swell for the entire van stab high presented by Monster Energy Window. But with 36 of the world's best male and female aerialists in one location, it's not easy to find a wave to yourself. Reef Hazelwood has a strategy. Can get a little bit loose here at night. I <laughs> uh, don't really drink, so that uh, helps to be able to get up earlier without drinking the night before. For me, like I, I just want to be out there surfing early in, in the best conditions, and I absolutely want to be going for big airs and stuff, but like I also just want to be surfing and enjoying being an Indo, and so it's been really fun doing that, and uh, hoping to get a couple more cheers before leaving.
guys see that wave? It was so fucking gnarly. It was huge. It like crazy because I was on the right too, and it was just. It was like a Kirby Brown wave or something. <laughs> Wasn't a stab eye wave. <laughs> I got under all of them like just. It was heavy. There was definitely one set that I was like, I don't think that's paddable. <laughs> yeah, the Rasta Rob Noah Dean death match is gonna be sick. Uh, it'll be fun to watch in that. Yeah, I'm sure once the tide turns, it'll be killer. Once that air wind comes up, and today's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Before our surfers in men's round two can spin the win, there's still one more score that needs to be settled. Robbie Rasta Rob McCormick and previous Van Stab High winner Noah Dean emerged from the straight air round with a tie from the judges, and as a result, will enter a 45 minute straight air duel to determine who will fill the final spot in round two. Like I'm not trying to get competitive against anyone else here, but I'm like not leaving here without fucking landing something good or I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> It was actually kind of intense for me, I guess. He was like freaking out. He was like, fuck, fuck this. Because everyone kept coming up to me and they're like, oh, we're so hyped for you here tomorrow with Noah. Like, I got money on you. I'm like, dude, don't tell me that. Now I'm all in my head like, fuck, people are going to lose money because of me if I lose my heat. He's like, it's a lot of pressure. And I was like, this does actually suck. Because I was like, I feel like we have to do this cook thing that no one else has to do because we were shit at doing airs in the first place, in the fucking first round or whatever. I was like, oh, I wish I just got knocked out or something, I don't know. Noah's always been like my favorite surfer for a long time, just growing up watching him and stuff, and I always thought he had the sickest straight hair out of anybody, so. We're never gonna surf this way if it just me and you out ever again. He's like, that, that kind of makes it feel better. He's like, come up with some more shit like that that's gonna like make me feel better. It was just, I don't know, heat with Noah Dean at Lakey Peak. Lads. I'm treating this like a free surf, and I was like, I wouldn't be waiting for a comp to start if it was a free surf. So me and Rasta were just taking turns having a few waves before the heat. Oh! And then I guess I like did an all right one before the heat, and I wasn't even tripping on it. I was like, oh, I'm just, just gonna keep surfing. All right, guys. We have Noah Dean and Rasta Rob in the water. Ross is up on this wave. Ross is up and riding now. I bet he just wants to stick something early. This is the surf off between these two guys. 45 minutes. What do you reckon, Nate? You ready? I'm ready. I feel like this is going to be the most exciting heat of the whole contest. Just to get everybody excited, I feel like every competitor on the beach is definitely watching this just to see how it goes down. I'm super excited to see what's going to happen, who pulls it out. And now I just did a really big air then, but fortunately it's not in the in the time. So there's more wave coming now. You can see Noah. You get there. Here we go. Looks like Noah has a little fire under his ass today, huh? <laughs> oh! Well, wow. there's still sets out there. Here we go, right on cue. Right on cue. Wow, okay, well, we're scoring that. Uh, whew, what do you want to say? I'm going eight. Go on eight? I think so. I'm going to go seven. Yeah, I think two sevens and an eight. I'm going eight just because it was right off the peak, it was high. And what if we don't see a gnarlier one? Yeah, and that was a proper set, too. Another one. Rob again? Yes, sir. Eight. Wait. That was sick. Noah. Noah is scrapping. Get it, Noah. Oh, la. Rasta Rob's consistency in my lifetime is second to none. I've never seen somebody stick more errors in like sessions and more, you know, maneuvers in the air or even how he did a snap after that. We're gonna see more of Rostorov and the things I've seen him do, he should have got hurt on a lot of these different things, but for some reason, it's really refreshing to see. It's definitely not as skate influenced as Noah Dean. I've never seen anybody like stick more errors, even ones that you think he's not gonna make where he makes. Ah, fuck, 
this is fucked. And I was like, yeah, and there's a whole bunch of people watching. He's like, what do you mean? And I was like, there's a fucking, they got like live stream of it at Fatmas. And he was like tripping even harder than me. And I was like, I don't know, I couldn't get it out of my head that there was like people watching. I guess Rasta would have the lead right now. He's um, put down a couple of sick ones and Noah's just, Noah almost put down the one, but still plenty of time. So I'm sure they're just enjoying themselves anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Winning it or doing good is good, but like right now, if you do something big, like you're gonna have all your buddies here and it's gonna be seen around the world. It's the best time you could ever really wanna try hard and do good. Here you go. Oh! I don't think that would have beat Rob's anyway, but yeah, coming close. Here we go. Rasta, again. Whoa. Every time a set would come, I would kind of go on the first wave of the set, which was messing me up, because I would turn around and the second, third, fourth wave was always better. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Yeah, he cares. I think that's yeah. what about Noah. He just goes big. Big, yeah. See, that would have went into the 10 range if you would have stuck something like yeah. that, you know? There we go. Oh, well, here you go, rest up. Oh. Man, three big ones in the heat, like good for him. There's more sets coming. Uh, Here you go. Noah. Oh. oh. But I'll tell you what, I really like seeing Noah Dean try as hard as he has in the last 20 minutes. He just lets his surfing do the talking, but now you've seen him like going for some small ones and like really trying to get after it. Yeah. I think he loves serving so much that he really cares, and I think he is passionate about it, progressing, and really wants to make his mark here. Just nothing was going his way. Like, every time he'd do a good one, the board would fly away, or he'd hit the rail instead of grabbing it, and just not uh, in sync. <laughs> I think Noah saw the flag. It was like, uh-oh, can't surf anymore. Rasta. Come on, Noah Dean, show him what you're made of. Maybe he'll do it because he thinks the heat's off. All good, all good, finish. Noah Dean paddled right out into the lineup and did a pretty solid straight air about three minutes before the heat started. Right there, I think that got Robbie fired up and then he went out and did a couple airs and ended up winning the heat, and so Robbie made it into the round of rotations. Ross and Rob, you're on to the next round. I had like a couple airs that I landed, and I guess it kind of put me into a little rhythm. Fuck, I beat one of the best guys there is at airs. Was that one of the most stressful heats you've ever had in your life? Yeah. Leading up to that heat, I was like, couldn't even do anything. How'd you sleep last night? Not good. Not really? I went to bed at like 6 o'clock. I like dipped dinners all early and didn't say bye to anybody because I was all stressed out. Aww. <laughs> well, it worked out. Oh, Noah Dean just did another one. You just want to land something. Like, I could care less. If I actually did a sick air and like got knocked out, I couldn't give a fuck, you know? And I think every round pretty much feels that way. Taking the win in the man-on-man -man surf off, Rasta Rob books himself a ticket to round two. Eliminated from the main event, Noah Dean, still in his contest jersey, paddles out to a rarely surfed wave across the channel. Oh that was like a Slater white wetsuit session, is what it looked like. And it fully was, and I was just like, fuck, I'm not sick anymore, and I can actually surf. We know there's a sneaky back door into the final, and that's by the monster air. And he's just paddled over to a wave that is literally called No Man's. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to surf it. It's a really sketchy, shallow, fast right-hander that goes into dry reef, pretty much. I'm not shedding a tear over here, like, because I fucking lost my heat. Oh, this looks like I'm, like, such a, like, fucking comp person, like, grinding it next to the comp, trying real hard. I was laughing at myself when I was out there. I was like, fuck, they probably think I'm so, like, fucking done. <laughs> I, like, trying to fucking surf real hard, like, next to the comp. I guess there's no explaining that really.
Round two advanced stab high presented by Monster Energy sees those surfers who progress from the straight air round competing in two one hour long four man heats. From each of these heats, the judges will select one winner to move through to the final based on their single best rotation. The remaining surfers will have their best rotation reviewed and ranked by the judges at the end of the day, with two more surfers progressing to the final based on their ranking. Rolling into the rotations round, Heat 1 features Dakota Walters, Sean Manners, Eric Geiselman, and Baja Koala. Rotation, spin to win, better than four to the shore. Dakota. go with the even five, I think. Oh! Here we go. Oh. Eric's so critical of himself. Like, he doesn't like anything that he does. That's what I like about him. <laughs> oh. Rotation. That is a rough decision right there. Because that was like in a five for me too. Yeah, five is a good point. Oh, oh that's smooth. I like that one. Look, we got a six. Yeah, I got a six too. I mean, I just think it was everything what we're looking for, just a little more, you know? There you go. Here we go. Koala! Oh! Oh! oh. No! Ah. See, that would have went right into a seven for me. Oh. Oh. That's better. And that's higher. Yep. That's a seven. I liked it. It was the best one yet, and I already have a six down, so it's like it has to go better. It's got a little bit of a wind change, it looks like. It's kind of, or maybe that's a low tide. OK, Shawnee. All right. Oh, oh, oh. I did, that was huge. I did like one all right alley -oop halfway through, but I fell back into layback and then popped up, and I was like, Nate would be hating that. I was like, that doesn't count. You no, know, it's still a six for me. It's gonna take a lot to go into that seven range going for an alley -oop for me. Me and the boys were kind of sitting out there for probably, it might have went flat for like 20 minutes before that wave. We were kind of all writing it off to each other saying that it was too like bumpy and it had dropped too much or it was weird and we were literally writing it off and then that one came, oh, I thought I'd have a go. Let's see. That. See, I feel good about giving him an eight. That was two points higher. Clean. I just took off and did a pump or two and saw a perfect bowl, and I got lucky and, yeah, lucked into a ramp and hit it and did a oop. It kind of shot me up, which was lucky. I feel like a lot of ramps out here shoot you outwards. It felt kind of big when I was up there. I kind of surprised myself when I landed and rode out. Meanwhile, Sean Manners on a bomb. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say now. Uh oh. Uh oh. You know what I was saying about a clear heat winner, Nate? Yeah. It just got. I, I don't got, know if we have it, it on our hands anymore. Yeah. So what are you gonna That's go? That's a hard one. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Goodness me. It looked crazy from the back. Yeah. I don't know. It was such a big air. It wasn't really the out the back ball, but it wasn't the inside ball. I don't know. It did like a weird thing. But after landing a couple airs, I knew that my legs had kind of warmed up, and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna try to do a the biggest air I can, and was stoked when I spun around. I did an alley-oop and spun around and landed, and I was like, yeah, I was like, mental. And especially when you try and come on an air comp and you try airs all week and you don't fucking land anything. <laughs> then you land one and you're like, well, yeah, it feels good. I think Dakota's was maybe more critical, but Sean's was cleaner. We gotta make a choice, though. I honestly like that one better. You want me to go get videos? That'd be really helpful. Yeah. yeah. Dakota was on a roll, he kept going up in his score range um, and I think he ended up with an eight and Sean also did a really nice alley-oop and we gave that an eight as well. 
and then we kind of got a quick review via an iPhone clip from the back of the screen. It's really hard because they were both eights. One was just a little bit better of an eight. Uh, we decided that Dakota's was much cleaner and, and bigger, so he got the nod. Taking the win in Heat 1, young Aussie Dakota Walters will be the first Van Stab High presented by Monster Energy finalist for 2022. I've been surfing, I feel like kind of out of your skin, just being around all the boys and like half of them are your heroes that you grew up watching and being here for this event, it doesn't feel like a contest to me. It feels like you're having a free surf with all your best mates or just like people that you've grown up looking up to. My first heat, I was a bit nervous so that felt a bit like a comp but ever since I paddled out and started surfing, everyone's hooting and it's just a hell time. When I was young, I never really competed much. I feel like I haven't really made up my mind of what I want to do, but I always want to keep both open. Like, I really like how, like, Mikey Wright did it or Yago. I wouldn't say that, like, I'm a comp guy, but then I wouldn't say that I just, I don't do them and I hate them. For the last couple of years or the next couple of years, I feel like I'm not going to compete and just try and go big and film parts or do whatever. Dakota's gnarly. I've never surfed with him until this trip or even seen him surf until this trip, and he's impressed me a lot. He's got a sick style, and he surfed really good. I followed him on Instagram last night. He rips. <laughs>Two of the men's rotation round sees surf off winner Rasta Rob take on current Monster Air leader Mateus Erdy, previous event winner Ian Crane, and one of the standouts of the event so far, Shane Sykes. For the rotation round, definitely want to try to do a huge alley oop. That all depends on the section, but if it's there, I'm just going to try to scoop a really big one. Shane, that's huge. Oh my God. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, oh wrong way. God. You got to turn oh, toward way. the beach. That thing looked fucking spooky that though. Come on. <laughs> Here we crane. go. Crane brain. Oh, it's a weird one, huh? Oh, there he's got go. a section. Whoa! Oh, that was oh, cool. That was insane. He's got them down pat. So we go. Out front. Chip slot. Lost oh, okay. Wow. Oh, Rob, just a silky standard air reverse. Yeah, three, four range. I, I gave it a four. Better. There's a bit of pop in there. I'd be surprised if Rob keeps that. Yeah. Oh, I'd be shocked if he keeps that. I'll eat these glasses if he keeps that. How? <laughs> Shane, I think. Slow one. Wow. Okay. Did well to fucking bang that thing off. Holy shit. That was sick. That's like a that's a really good that's like three. Like a foam climb yeah. Here we go. Crane. Crane. Oh, hit it. Hit yeah. it. Hit it. Oh, yeah! no! Oh, that was a hard section to land on. He's a. That's he's crazy. He's one of the few surfers who you could really say has a signature air. Yeah. Like something. That is that, his signature. Yeah. That totally. nobody else really does anything like that. Yeah. Crane's actually been a finalist in every stab high to date. Wow. So if he doesn't really? get an air in this one and he doesn't get a monster air before the final, this will be the first year that he's not in the Van Stab High final. Here's one. Here we go. Sexy. Oh my god. There you go. Oh, 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 no! It had I hate seeing that. I hate that seeing people. So, so annoying. Close. Mateus, rotation master. Oh, oh is he trying like a lean, flippy thing? Oh, this one's got a little wedge on it, huh? Oh. Oh my god, look at this ramp! Oh! Rasta! Rasta! The fact that Mateus hasn't landed in an air yet is pretty wild to me. Uh -oh. Here we go. Now he's angry. Uh oh. What a. Uh -oh. I was looking for a kind of like a double up smaller one, the ones that Rasta was taking in the heat, and he was just like in a good rhythm. Whoa! Oh, yeah! Man. Okay, did I tell that you? Nice. I don't see my glasses now. That's that better much than quicker. Koalas. That's definitely better than Koalas. It didn't Six, really pop it? out it's of like the a really, It's like a solid five. Yeah, I think it's, it's a five. five that's just better than Koalas. And it really looked like he was like a local there, you know, getting all the waves, and, and he was like not being a jerk. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh my god. god! That would have been the sickest! Nine? If he landed? Yeah, like, that's a nine for sure. sure. Like, that was like one of those mind blowing air vessels. It was it oh wasn't a big god. wave, but the section was, it just popped up. So so he got <laughs> so high on that thing. I just thought of it like it was a free surf. If nobody was gonna go on those waves, why let them go to waste? I'm just gonna, I'm here to take them. <laughs> that's Ross Rob. Oh, Rob. Yeah, you're right. 
Oh! Wow! Yeah! Oh, yeah. That was mental! Oh. That was sick! <laughs> wow! Sick! He was wow. like... He like kind of landed on the lip and then just kept landing all the way down. Like he like... That was so sick! He didn't sick. hit the bottom of the <laughs> yeah. I'm still gonna stay a little conservative and drop yeah, a seven. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go seven. Definitely not his cup of tea, I don't think. Really big, windy gnarly reef waves where I know he's grown up in like small Florida beach breaks. Definitely East Coast mentality. I was just out there grinding pretty much. Not grinding, but just having way too much fun. There was just so many waves. I was like, holy shit, wave, another one, another one. Oh, you guys don't want it? Why not? I'm going. <laughs> Rasta. Oh, she's yeah. daily? Staley. Nice. You don't know about Are you kidding me? One of the ways that I actually almost like had my best error, he like let me go because he was getting a lot of waves. Oh! oh. <laughs> so QSC. <laughs> I'm giving it like a four. Not a four? Yeah, I'm giving it a Yeah, four. just because well, he didn't land in transition. So bad. Like, <laughs> everyone was kind of struggling to find a good section and Rob was sort of just, everything he did was really clean and um, he just like, Felt like every section he got, he looked like it was working for him. It's, oh, oh, that was mental. God. Wow. He's having a super heat. He was pretty much on fire, and I really can't wait to see what he does in the finals. Um, I almost knew that I was going to stomp one or two by the end of the heat, and I just kind of had the rhythm going, I guess, like you say. So surprised that Mateus heard he couldn't get anything. Well, he did get something. It just wasn't much for him. But yeah, we're lucky that we get to review it before making this call. I mean, I have a feeling there's going to be differing opinions there. We're going to really have to break some stuff down, but it's going to be a big night. I don't know what happened, but I'm sure someone threw something big down. It'll be interesting to find out tonight. I have a few beers and we'll get to the bottom of it. Because I know Sean did a big alley-oop, Dakota did a big alley-oop. Boom, they're in the final. I know Rasta Rob killed it, and then I think it was like kind of nobody's game. Early into the judges' review, it's clear that the fourth person to earn their spot in the finals is narrowed down to two competitors. Like I made an air reverse, but I don't want to win stab high on an air reverse. I feel the same thing. I'm like, I had a really normal air. I wouldn't feel like I deserve to get to the final with my performance that I did on that. Let's get these two side by side. Heat how he gets stuck. Landing sucks. It's so bad. Bah just hit it on a way bigger section, too. I like Baja's air, but Mateus did way more high. If it goes my way, I'll take it. If it goes his way, I'll be cheering for him. So stoked, yeah. Wish the viewers could chime in already. Again, I think this is really similar to the decision we had to do in the straight air one. Where Surf it's, off. It's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. Welcome back to Van Stab High, presented by Monster Energy. Thank you all so much for being here and putting the body on the line and sending it. Whether you made it all the way through to the final or you've been just going for the Monster Air outside of the competition, we really appreciate it. And we think that it means a lot for the future of the sport and aerial surfing. In the rotation round, we had two ladybirds, poor rotations, in their heats. Those two will be our first finalists, Sierra Kerr and Bella Kenworthy. Come on up. I'm gonna have you all stand up here with me too. Congratulations on being the first two Van Stab High presented by Monster Energy. Ladybird finalists, a cuff for you and a cuff for you. Thank you. So our next two have had a bit of time to put down this rotation. It hasn't been easy. So they decided to make it a sort of video competition so all of the girls could go to whatever surf break they wanted and get video of them landing a rotation. And I think that's the best decision that could have been made. I don't know. Honestly, I was there was like swell the next day, and I was just I just kind of wanted to get barreled that day. So I was like, oh whatever. I'll just if I if I get it, I wasn't gonna force it. Is what I'm trying to say. 
I feel like a lot of sessions you're like, okay, I'm gonna do, go out and do a w airs on every wave, but it's like, oh, this wave's perfect for a blowtail. I'm not gonna do an air, you know? Oh, it's just been going surf after surf, just trying, and it's getting pretty hard <laughs> and frustrating. Trying not to go try hard mode, but kind of also doing it, like going on Insider, trying it. Like, I wanted to make it. The last 36 hours has been nothing but intensity. <laughs> The, trying to get the reverse, which is something that she knows how to do, but do it on video. And she's been very frustrated and very upset and then very happy. And if she makes the finals, that's that was her goal. So. Go, keep going, keep going. Oh! Quincy is definitely the most committed. Every time I'm out, she's out. And then I go in and she's still out. And then I come back out and she's still out. Yesterday she spent nine hours in the water, which I think was too much. I think she like was just getting in her own way, trying too hard. But it's really like, okay, you got to do an air. Like, this is necessary now. It just had like a feathery little section, kind of pretty perfect, and I just did it, and I was pretty happy, and I just went straight in after like 20 minutes of being out there, so, yeah. Quincy! Yeah. Finally got around. All I was thinking was don't catch your rail. <laughs> Luckily I didn't and yeah, I was just super happy. Katie Simmers, Quincy Simons. Come on up. Good work. They've been grinding too, super hard for it. Welcome to the final. Ladybirds! <laughs> All right, today on the men's side from the first heat, the first place finisher landing a massive oop, Dakota Walters. Come on up. Good work. Welcome. Yes, sir. He too. This person kind of had the day of days. He's in the final. Rasta Rob. <laughs> nice work. All right. Next person. Been getting after it all week. Threw down a massive oop. And this person is Sean Manners. Bravo. Good work. Thank you. Very exclusive. Maybe don't read it out loud, but take a look at it. I was a motherfucker. <laughs> it's upside, upside down, down backwards. And backwards, so I read it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our final finalist on the men's side. I don't want to win stab high on a reverse. I feel the same thing. I'm like, I had a really normal air. And the fourth and final finalist is Mateus. <laughs> Welcome. But congratulations. Give these guys a round of applause. Everybody's been going big this week. So the Monster Air is still up for grabs. Automatic seed into the final. But we did have a leader change in the past day after reviewing the footage. So our new, our new leader is... Next time we're here, we're giving out these. See ya. Here we go. Big double up. Quincy. Yes. It's probably huge out there. And it should be the best day of progressive women's surfing yet in the history of the sport.